here's what we do know, is that the U.S. venture market as a whole um, was extremely strong in Q1 uh, 2020 before COVID hit. Um, and we saw about $34 billion invested in about 3,000 companies in first quarter alone. On the venture side, as far as funds, we saw about $21 billion raised over 62 venture firms. So it was very healthy uh, early part of the year. Post-COVID, you know, everything sort of slowed, uh, went to a halt, slowed down. And today, there's about $120 billion in cash reserves over those venture funds. Um, there, there are reserves, companies will be funded, um, but the, the amount of deal flow, deal pace, and deal activity, um, and, and the types of deals that will be invested in is, is, has, has changed dramatically, will change post-COVID. Together in person, maybe we have to wait another year, right? Uh, but nonetheless, but I think that everybody's going to have to make a choice. This is what I always think. Everybody has to make a choice that this is what we've got. And if this is what we got, how do you maximize it? The right events with the right people are the best experiences, right? Let's, let's forget the entertaining and the drinking and all that. If you really verticalize it and make it very specific and gather um, um, sort of opt-in information, no different than creating a profile, your, your profile page on Facebook for the first time, and really trying to connect the dots to what people's problems or challenges are and where people are trying to you know, solve that problem. I actually think digital could be a, um, a, a great way to spend more, less time, more efficiently, and get greater output. I think there's never been a more important time to think about opt-in emails and can you connect me to Rob? I've never met him at 614. And I think it's also the responsibility of everyone to make more introductions because people have less access. Ad budgets are down. You know, we're going to hear about this uh, over the course of the day and to say, um, maybe the reason budgets are down is because brands, marketers don't have their messages right yet. So it's not you know the money to spend, but they don't know what to say. Brands really need to follow their North Star and think about what they're, you know, who they're reaching and why they're trying to reach them. And I think it's better to be patient and thoughtful uh, versus uh, versus rush. And and um, and I'm seeing the the pros of that, and I'm also seeing the the cons. But number one, in particular, is um, is 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 not being tone deaf and being super sensitive and being thoughtful uh, about what you want to say and how you want to say it. COVID nineteen, blocking news, uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, you know, and making sure that you know there's diversity and inclusion. I mean, there none of them are light topics by any stretch. All of this stuff kind of lands right in the middle of it. You know, the the social change and 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 the social good movement, and hopefully. We're, we're, we're doing the we're doing a good job you know we're trying really hard but it's not easy um, for anybody to get the message right.